Okay, Pete Diamond here again. The never-ending saga of the Troy-built TB30R rider mower. Um, I've mentioned in passing um, one of my other videos about the hour meter. Right there. And you can pick those up anywhere, eBay, Amazon, they're real cheap. Um, it's a sealed unit, it's waterproof. Um, once the battery goes, it's done. There's nothing else you can do with it, but um, it's just a real cheap, easy way to track hours. And the way I fixed it was double-sided sticky tape. And then the wire that comes out of the back of this, I just drilled a small hole in the body there and routed the cable down, if I can even find it. So here it is here. Can you see that? Is it going to focus? So I just followed around the back of the wiring loom back to here, zip tied it onto here, up under here, um, round the back, under here, you can see that there, and around, then to the back of the engine, and here's where the fun happens. Now, in order to put this on, you do have to take off the cover, um, undo the screws here and get this cover off because, and you can just follow the instructions on um, changing the spark plug, but anyway the, the way this hour meter works is it just counts on time and it just does that by measuring um, the currents, the, the voltage when the spark plug's firing. So whenever the spark plug is, is firing, this wire which is the one we routed back from the unit is wrapped around the spark plug cable um, and then just zip tied on and that's pretty much it so it's just an induction hour meter and it just tracks run time now you can get an rpm one as well that will do rpm and hours but i don't care what the rpm is um, so i hope that helps for those people who had questions about how i routed the wiring for that um, yeah, that's it.